drummers in all genres play fills. During a fill, we break away from the basic pulse and play rhythms and accents to mark the end of a section in a song or to serve as a bridge or transition between sections. In some cases, the drummer plays a short fill before the song's downbeat to set up a tempo in an exciting way meant to grab the listener's attention. This fill before the song is called a pickup by musicians. Any instrument can play a pickup, but usually it's the drums or a lead instrument such as guitar or keyboard. Today, we will talk about the pickup fill, how to count yourself in, and some simple but effective pickup fills you can use quickly with a little practice. All of these pickup fills can be used within the groove as long as you begin and end the fill on the correct beat. Be sure and work them out both ways because short fills like these are musical since they stay out of the way. Other musicians, especially singers, will appreciate this. Set up a rock and groove. Use this 16th note pattern, starting on beat four of the count in, 4E anda. Try it on snare first. Again, this is a one beat fill played on beat four. Try it again, but this time start the groove on the one after the 4E and a pickup fill, perhaps marking the one with a cymbal crash, like this. Since pickup fills are played before the song begins during the count off, you will need to count only to three before beginning this particular fill. You can use short fills very effectively and they can add a different dimension without being complex or flashy. Remember, ending a fill with a crash on one is common, but sometimes it can be too much, so you need to listen to the music and decide based on each situation. Many slow blues style songs have an instrumental pickup lick based on the eighth note triplet often played on drums or guitar. Counting to three and playing the triplet figure on four is an easy example of a good slow blues pickup. This can be played on snare, but a snare tom combination works too. Now, try the pickup fill using flams for a fatter sound. Adding a rough to lead into four is another, more subtle approach. Remember, always count to make sure you are on the correct beat when playing. This is especially important when playing a fill or any time you change something to ensure the tempo does not fluctuate. When playing a funk groove, eighth and sixteenth note combinations can work well and add rhythmic interest, which is important in this genre. Start off the pickup on beat four, playing two sixteenths and an eighth, like this. Once you have that down, try playing the last note on the rack tom. This is a classic yet simple funky fill. Now, use this pickup fill to set up your favorite funk groove. Just like the other basic pickup fills we covered today, this one can also be used as a regular short fill within a beat for a simple but cool sounding fill. Remember to use fills sparingly and they will have greater impact. Use them too often and your playing can be too busy and cluttered. Remember, always count until you are comfortable. 
it is a requirement for a drummer to stay on beat. Learn these fills, make up your own, and always experiment when practicing. It is important to learn new ideas, then find your own way of doing it. You must imitate before you innovate. That is the first step toward creativity. Stay positive and have fun.